Okie dokie. All annual telescopes are now done. Believe it or not, that was a great effort. And each of them is anywhere between one hour and 45 minutes, and some of them are even going to two hours. The first segment is kind of collectively about the year we are going into 2018, and that's some good 45 minutes. And after that, you can check your own sign and everything is going on. So this is right now, every individual one is like 29.95 and collectively to get them all is $59.95 so guys feel free to go and check this link below or the link on the screen and go and order your telescope you can get it within 24 hours and sometimes even faster so to everybody who ordered thank you so much and i really hope you're going to enjoy and even order additional one all the best guys talk to you soon all right now, and without further ado, let's figure out what is in the store for you. And I'm going to start with a quick explanation of the cards and the dimensions, why I chose the seven different categories. So guys, uh, if you want this for yourself, this is the best energy to really figure out about your relationship. Just order it via www.cattarot.ca. Thanks. Hi guys, and welcome to my Cat Terra Nose X spread. I have really developed this after struggling with what kind of combination of the cards do I need to find in order for this to kind of like really give me the answers that I need. And this works absolutely fantastically well. It kind of discovers every underlying reason that kind of like I need to know. It works for on and off relationships, it can work for existing relationships, and it works fantastically for the ex-relationships. And um, so each of these cards is actually taken from a different deck. And I have the same cards in here as well. So these cards are basically denoting almost like a title of the book. So guys, listen to this introduction. I'm going to delete all the messages saying go to this part and to go to this part because this is really important until we absorb this. So what do we have here? We have the magician. This category here is going to summarize to me, okay, what is the bounty that this kind of like connection had? Can you actually even make it a go? Was it ever a starter? So what if here in the building blocks you get something that it's, it's basically a, a wrench that obviously will tell me this actually was never on that project trajectory. The temperance reversed here is telling me about certain things that couldn't have been maybe made. It couldn't have been created. You know, each relationship is bringing two different people that have to kind of like merge together. And sometimes they just like actually collide together instead. So this is going to be categories going to kind of point out to that. This is going to be one significator. It could be you. And this is going to be another significator. And this category here, 801s, is representing for me the communication exchanges and the energies between the partners, right? So the judgment here is my karma card. And I really want to see here, what is basically karma thinking about that? Was this a go? Did you guys were asked to go further? Because sometimes it's a karmic relationship. Did you have to learn something out of it and what? And then basically the uh, quality of relationship, where this is going, what is the next level. So, okay, so it was not that hard. It was like just under three minutes explanation. So let me just jump in into your readings. Sagis, it's still your birthday. So let me see what is going to be happening from mid-December to mid-January in terms of the partners. And this is kind of going to be very interesting because we are going through uh, Mercury retrograde. We are going through many things from the past resurfacing, sometimes just to kind of bring us final closure and the other times to really be reopened because maybe it was the wrong place and the wrong time. So let's see. Sagis, is your ex coming back? Sagis. December and January. Sagis, December 
and getting my veggies, December and January. All right. So let's look look into four weeks time here. I'm going to I'm going actually much slower when I do my private readings because I go card by card and explain to you why it is. But here I think it's going to be more a message that I want to send it to you. So what do we have here? Guys, in the very first category you have a situation where it was like one too many. It was an extra person and one person did not want to build this relationship. What basically getting out of this is a lots of anxiety. It's a lots of, let's say, nightmare. This is the partner. You see, I said to you that we have the same thing all over uh, in this particular deck. So this is kind of telling me that partner either is in your life or wants to be in your life. Because partner is still thinking really, really fondly about you. Let me see if I can put this plant to give you a better look at the cards. So there is some kind of nostalgia. And you, on the other hand, you're trying to kind of get a grip on everything that is going on. You're trying to stabilize and be in control and kind of like sit back, be this person kind of like who can actually get this life organized. But karma is saying... This particular relationship was sort of, you know, anxiety prone, could have been very toxic, could have been all in a head, could have been a product of attraction mind to mind, right? And hence, it hasn't been grown. Hence, it stopped. You see, he's actually growing a tree, but it's all in some kind of like really big bush. And he's wondering here, hmm, what can I do to continue growing this? But in this situation, there is kind of like giving up energy. So in the very first week from when you're listening this, yeah, it's going to be lots of mixed emotions I have to tell you for sure. Let's see the second week. Wow. And this is the second week from when you are listening to this. So look at this, the judgment in the judgment category reversed. Wow. And four of ones in a four of ones category. The second week from what you're listening, it's telling me that somebody kind of like is, the attraction is really, really huge in this particular combination. It goes both ways. I, I think that somebody could have been in a relationship of some different kind where the choice had to be made and not necessarily choice of a heart and hence the choice of mind or something that maybe seemed to be right had been made. However, it looks like your partner made this choice. Hierophant definitely tells me it could be a marriage or something that kind of like didn't fit normally. It was not normal in a kind of traditional sense of the world. And look at this. The partner here is going from nostalgic to really, really sad. Like, I mean, they're keeping... A, they're keeping very strong... Um, they're trying to be strong, but it's really, really hard because I think your partner made this judgment. Or I don't know who made this move, but it looks like both partners are hurt in this situation because the judgment reversed here is telling me that when you have a path and you can choose left and you can choose right, this was wrong path chosen. And it's kind of like hard to forgive somebody is kind of dealing with these issues everything that kind of has been a fallout out of it and hence it's kind of like there is a huge focus to work a huge focus to let's let's enjoy what i have no sorry that was like this is the last card wow Because there is like still connection between the partners or it's going to be connection with this partner. It could be even somebody popping up from the past and trying to 
revive this relationship, guys. I'm trying to say... Trying to make up, because when this card comes out in the reading, it is telling me that kind of like it was the karmic calls, you know, where you get a brownie point or you're taking away a brownie point. Something has happened here that has been frowned upon in this relationship. On the other hand, like, I mean, they're seeing you as the lovers. They're seeing you, I don't know, Sages, if you are the ones who made the choice. And kind of like it was sort of like just abrupt cut of the choice. This could also be some kind of legal issues or marriage that has been in a way. And somebody really wanted to feel victorious about that, but somehow the circumstances were against it. So let me see the third week. Ouch, I hate to see this card, but it is in a good category. Wow, this would be you, Saj. Hmm. It is you, but I think this really represents a partner, unless this is a male partner, or unless this is a male Sagittarius watching this, right? Mm -hmm. Because here is saying, look, you know, even though there looks like it was a third party, somebody was really committed, maybe wanting to break out of this relationship, but they didn't. And they didn't because they didn't. This is not to say that, that the emotions got... And it was something fun. It was night of wands. It's like very sexual. It's very kind of like fun to date. But they don't stay, right? So it, it, this relationship didn't have a staying power. And it's saying right now it's a time, it's a lesson to learn how to really enjoy. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy how to be on your two feet. And it looks like there are lots of sneaky things going on around here. Something that you maybe you're not proud of. Something that happened could have been a verbal exchange. And hence, you or your partner just decided, I just can't participate in this. It is kind of weird because this is the kind of energy in the air, which is Ace of Wands, which kind of, to me, kind of gives me this fire and opportunity for second chances, right? And, but... I don't think they see you or it's either one of the partners is really not capable of doing it. There is like still a wrong timing. There is like something still that has to happen. So this cannot continue. But it's going to be some kind of communication, guys. Two aces, this really, really two important aces. It could be negotiations about how to move forward or what happened. But this is a strong, strong willingness to be kind of like solid, to be alone, to be self-sufficient. Because now there are like these two nines that I see here, and both of them are giving me this flavor. I need to get through it. I kind of like need to get through it. And to see this last quarter here, sort of the last week from what you are listening, this... Wow. Ladies, you're coming to yourself. That's a good news. Some burdens that have been burdens or that maybe uh, create barriers or the third partners. You see like the devil is coming reversed over here in the category that needs to be kind of like your toy box. We are toolbox where you can actually make things happen. So it's saying... But part of this relationship was a lesson, had the lesson included in there. And the lesson was to, uh, this always talks about exes or wives or husbands, some other partners, and something that kind of like was just too hard to bear. And it was not possible, so hence it had to be dropped off. It had to die, but there is like this painful death. It looks like both, both of you are sort of like coming back. It could be that your partner was married because... This is a very strong indication about that. And that's why it was the wrong time. There is not a question that emotions were there. And that's maybe why there is like still pain on both ends. But this card, when it's reversed, is saying there's lots of unnecessary suffering here, guys. Kind of like it is time to dust off. And I think you're getting to that. Like it looks like the end of the Mercury retrograde is going to kind of get there. 
it's going to be the third week that's going to give a whole bunch of things coming back to the surface and yet it's going to be kind of devastating to some kind of like point because it's going to feel oh my gosh maybe it's going to be this talking and and then you know like when you get together with an old partner and it's all nice and then you just realize wait a minute nothing changed and that's a very painful realization and that's when you're saying look I have been already going through it. I've been going through hell myself. I just cannot suffer anymore. I'm not willing to suffer anymore. So this person is somehow stabilized. He's somehow somehow happy, maybe with his own or her own family or with the structure. Because you see, this was kind of one of the lessons to learn. You have to kind of stabilize yourself, know where you are. This is kind of very pragmatic moving forward right and yet karma is saying kind of like it's it's an overall giving up motion and overall finally taking a rest and kind of peace and this card is also giving thanks giving thanks for finishing this lesson and completing it because both partners are coming to their own both partners are getting who they are supposed to be this is definitely you that's kind of like fire sign really really standing strong back on it maybe both of you are looking at what you have been through because obviously you have judgment it was a karmic relationship so Saji's it's going to be a little bit of roller coaster it is Mercury retrograde I'm not going to kid you about that you are coming out here and also that other partner may be going to reflect to you how they see you and <laughs> what they think of you and maybe it's going to give this like newfound kind of like possibility like a bridge trees are bridges to maybe something else but it's going to be very soon be realization just wait a minute I kind of like need to need to kind of like really realize that the path I took was the right one and there was a reason there was this sneaky behavior there was somebody who is committed to somebody else and I don't want to do it for karmic reasons because you know things kind of work the mysterious ways in one life you know you kind of do things and don't kind of like get punished for it but in all another one you will because you're having both the devil and the death here so Sajis tell me what you think how this resonates with you and please like share like and subscribe and if you really want to learn more about tarot um, please come by on my um, Facebook and I have daily tarot where I sort of like give a mini lesson so by the way I kind of do it thank you guys love you